Carro. Hello my Sagittarian friends, it's Guiding Halo. This is going to be a reading for the Pisces Full Moon Energy for the week of the 9th of September to the 15th. Let's see what's going on for you guys during that time. The energy that's happening, what spirit would like you to know, how you're moving forward, what trajectory you're on. Let's see what's going on. Any new information coming your way? What's going on? This one. All right, the Three of Autumn. Ooh, follow your passions when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. Beautiful. Eight of Autumn. Wow. Do more research before proceeding. So this could be about learning and being an apprentice in some way, shape, or form in your work situation. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school, or apprenticeships. Excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. So stepping into something that could really propel you guys career-wise into a new cycle for yourself. This is beautiful. You're leveling up, my friends. My Sagittarian friends in the draw world looks like you're leveling up. Let's go here. See what's going on for you guys. I always say that in the job world and then love stuff comes out. Yeah, an apology or an offer that really surprises you and makes you very emotional. Very emotional. Could be from someone younger. Oh, this is about brand new starts is what this is. Using your knowledge and creativity, ingenious ideas. It's an offer of something you can do that really touches your emotions. You're going to celebrate this offer. Yes, you are. We got the three of cups and the three of pentacles. You're going to celebrate financial abundance coming your way. Going inward to find out whether a truth or something someone's told you, you're going to adopt as truth for yourself or not. Whether they are correct or wrong in your opinion. Hermitizing a little bit to find out which way to go. This is a very spiritual thing. This could be a, something that takes you for the long haul in commitment wise. So I think you're going inward to find out if you have the time, effort, and energy for this said commitment. Ooh, bang! I hope so, because this is a huge offer for you guys, a way to use your passions and talents and creativity that you already have in order to build this stability. If someone thinks you have to go back to school in order to do this, I think the divine's telling you, you have everything you already need. Yes, you do. You've been through enough of the waters, the divine working in the background to help bring this new work thing to fruition for you you've been through some emotional times here for sure you have learning growing the divine's trying to help you through this to bring you up on solid ground on the other side head to this crown that's rightfully yours working out chemical magic in the background with your emotions to help bring stability in your passions your creative endeavors how it is that you show up in the world to make money what brings you a tangible outcome in the financial world Using your intuition, the keeper of secrets. You don't know if this is true. You know, I don't know if this is true. I think you've been hurt a lot in the past. And so I think you have some disbelief about your value, perhaps, and how the divine values you. Uh huh. You're going to go inward and ask the divine for clarity on this. And it's going to take great strength to handle the answers. You know what the answer is? You are good enough. We love you. We are here to support you. You've got this. Oh, what did I just say? Sagis, and the sun comes out. Oh, man, we got a lot of major arcana in this reading so far, I'm telling you. The sun is coming out. Very, very happy outcome. When you trust yourself and trust the opportunities the divine's bringing your way. This is a huge offer. Yeah, it's going to take you for the long term. You bet it is. But this offer in work and stability and using your passions and creativity, bang, that's a big deal. Very happy outcome. Yep, us. You're fighting it. Oh, yeah, you are. I think you're going to put down the swords and walk away from the BS. I don't know if you have energy to fight that no more. 
Yeah, people, you've had a rough time of it. Like I said, you've had a rough time of it. And I think you're going to feel like you need to get schooling. You're going to feel like you're not good enough. You're going to feel like the future looks gloomy, not as bright as all this. There's that three of pentacles again, putting down the swords to go and do high quality work, learning and growing. This is recognition for high quality work. Maybe you've been fighting in the job situation for a long, long time to bring about what you seek. You're going to walk away from this energy, walk away from emotional turbulence and sadness and grieving to bring about what? Your Nine of Cups wish fulfillment, my friends. Beautiful energy. Yeah, you've had to stand up for yourself. You've had to draw a line in the sand. You've had to protect that which you've created for sure. But you're on top of it. You are on top of it. Could be dealing with Capricorn. I think this could also be about dealing with how uh, your shadow side and your light side about how you feel about yourself uh, is a self-fulfilling prophecy here. So the inflow of abundance comes when you keep up the good work. Absolutely. This whole apprenticeship thing, what did I tell you? Bringing you right towards wish fulfillment. Beautiful. Wish fulfillment from a Sagittarian friend in using your passions that you have. Yep. Oh, yes. You are falling in love. With what? You are falling in love, my friends, with your true soul purpose. I believe this right here, and I've never seen it this way before, is you as divine feminine, divine masculine, mirroring each other. You're falling in love with your soul. Because when you follow your true soul's purpose, my friends, and then this outcome happens... You fall in love with it. You fall in love with your soul. You fall, it's truth right there. You fall in love with anything that you love that has brought you to this point. All of the time you have struggled, turmoiled, you are sitting in empress energy. You can manifest anything you choose right now. You put all that time, all that struggle, all that work in. And what happens? The wish fulfillment. Someone also could be getting an offer in love that they've waited a long time for, or they've been so busy focusing on work and this whole situation, they didn't even see love staring them right in the face. But I'm telling you, I truly believe that you're finally going to have wish fulfillment and emotional fulfillment in your financial life. It's going to make you incredibly emotional when you sit there and use your passions and your spiritual gifts, taking it all for the long haul, working hard and going about it. And then all of a sudden you get financial reward when you follow your passions, your spiritual passions, and you make money. Are you kidding me? That's absolute wish fulfillment. It's truth and proof and clarity that what you're doing is to bring it all to fruition. Very happy outcome in Empress Energy. You can manifest anything you choose. This woman sits there and says, hmm, glass of water. And she has a host of people to bring it to her. You're sitting there right now going to the divine. Huh. Well, maybe I'd like this. And they're like, done. Done. Why? As a reward for all of this. Beautiful energy. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Look at that. You can't make that crap up. Out of all of these cards, this card comes out to correlate beautifully with what I'm saying. What's the next energy from the angels here, please? Next energy from the angels. What is the best advice from the angels for my Sagis? <laughs> yippee ki -yay. Look at you guys go. Victory. Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. Oh my goodness, my Saggies. Something is going to start on the full moon, I'm telling you, that's going to take you to a, a cycle all the way to your birthday where this is all going to come to fruition in such a beautiful way. I can't wait to hear in your birthday season what you said you've got to say about this. I'm getting goosebumps. Just saying. Alrighty. Give me a spirit message from my Saggy friends, please. We got victory. We got divine life purpose. We got falling in love with the divine masculine and feminine within. A beautiful joining in love and relationship with oneself and a true divine soul calling. Beautiful. What does the divine have to say to my Saggy friends? <sighs> actually pulled two. I'm going to read them both just because I can. Okay. We're a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how 
To support you in your life's journey, we communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In life, on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity. Be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor, affirmative, we say, loving you so very much. Dearest you, since you're on earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes, a good solid foundation and yet flexibility too, in case of earthquakes. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base, whether it be an idea that takes form one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation. Dug, poured, and built. We want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly, as well as do a general site check to ensure your hard work is being well supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and solid foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come visit. Oh, my saggies. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building. Yeah, they, see, see, they are supporting you a thousand percent. They're helping you build it step by step, block by block. Right now is, it might be a time of pause for you, but it's so that you can look at everything from each trajectory in order to build the perfect foundation because this is huge. Whatever this is you're going to build is huge, my friends. And look at this. May I remind you, victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. You guys have a great week. Blessings.